This week, the boys head up to northern Manitoba to get after some really big fish. You're in for an experience of your lifetime, dude. God's Lake gets put to the test right here on the Outdoor Option. Outdoor Option. My daddy taught way of life. I passed down to my kids. Showed me how to shoot and hunt and fish and how to live. Said I was born for the great outdoors, but the choice is up to you. And I always choose the outdoor option. It's the outdoor option. The outdoor option. It's the outdoor option. This is us. This is what we're all about. Outdoor option. That's the life I choose, outdoor option. The Outdoor Option is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras, Suzuki, The Remington Outdoor Company, Ignite the Hunt, Deer Supplements and Attractants, Skag Power Equipment, Orca Coolers, Just an Original Work Boots, Sheffield Financial, Rhino Blinds, and Ten Point Crossbow Technologies. Hi, I'm Greg Dick. Welcome to Elk Island Lodge. Elk Island Lodge is on God's Lake. 320 miles northeast of Winnipeg. Traveling and getting to God's Lake was definitely a different experience than what we're used to when it comes to traveling for a shoot. I've never flown a commercial flight to a lodge that I'm fishing at in Canada, but it was a really cool experience that I'll never forget. Our flight departs right out of the main terminal. You go through security, we give you a nice lunch on board, free alcohol, free pop. And they had a runway that's right there within 100 yards of the lodge, so when you climb off the plane, you basically walk 100 yards, they grab your bags, they put them on a cart, you just walk over to the lodge, and within two, three minutes, you're sitting right in the middle of their lodge. We try and make it about as seamless as possible, and then, you know, no waiting around or anything like that, just, you know, pack up your fishing gear and go fishing as soon as you get to the lodge. You're in for an experience of your lifetime, dude. Whenever we go on fishing trips like this, the first thing we want to do is get out and go fishing. And that's why we enjoyed Elk Island Lodge so much, is because they allowed us to get there, unpack, and get right out on the water. And we didn't waste any time getting into big fish. We beat the storm, and we hooked into the big one right off the bat. Well, you know, I've always had on my bucket list, you know, to go up to northern Manitoba and specifically to God's Lake. And when this trip came together and Greg Dick called us and wanted us to come up there, I knew there was some pretty good fish there. Didn't really know how many or how big they get, but I knew that it was a great fishery and it didn't take long for it to, to begin and for Danny to get the shock of his life and get the biggest pike he ever caught. After we got this fish to the boat and realized how big it was, we were even more excited because what a perfect way to start off this trip. And we knew it was only going to get better from here. So we wrapped things up, got back to the lodge, enjoyed a nice dinner, and just relaxed and enjoyed the rest of the evening. Greg came over and talked to us about some things and so forth, and it was kind of like an informal setting. Just a great place to kind of hang and unwind after a long day of fishing. Closed captioning of the Outdoor Option is provided by the Remington Outdoor Company.
This segment of the Outdoor Option is brought to you by Justin Original Work Boots. This is our first full day of fishing. We were all excited. The docks were a buzz. This is the water here that was running. We're up and at it early, ready for our first full day of fishing. We got beautiful weather, and we're really excited to see what this lake has in store for us. Fishing trips to Canada has been a tradition of our family for a very long time, even all the way back to when my dad and uncle were teenagers. You know, and it was an annual trip for us and, you know, it reminded us of all the special times, all the trips I've made, you know, to Canada since I was six years old. And, and Danny got to feel the same way because I've had him going up there every year since he was five. Since we got the big pike out of the way the first night, today was all about everything else. Not only did they have a great pike fishery, but they got amazing walleye and lake trout fishing. Lake Trout in Canada. Why we were trying to get some walleye for shore lunch, and we were catching a few. We started getting into some lake trout, and boy, Danny got a hold of a big one. Now that is a big lake trout. Beautiful. Sitting here trolling with deep diver plugs. He put on one heck of a fight. And this was really cool because landing my first lake trout was a huge bonus. It's something I've never got to experience before. God's Lake Walleye. This is what we're after. We keep getting interrupted by lake trout and pike. The reason we're after the walleye right now is to get some inventory for shore lunch, because shore lunch is definitely the best part of any Canadian fishing trip. And this shore lunch was no less exciting than any other shore lunches we ever had. And uh, there's plenty of fish to go around. And those guides up there did a great job you know, building the fire and, uh, and getting it just the right temperature and getting the potatoes going and getting the fish going and it was really something, something to see. The guides taking care of all the fish and everything else, it kind of left us just to fill our bellies and my dad, you know, immediately went over after getting done eating and laid down on a rock and decided to take a snooze. My grandpa can literally fall asleep anywhere. Of course, my dad and Danny, being the goofballs they are, take advantage of the moment. And this just topped everything. I couldn't believe he was over there laying down taking a nap. He could sleep standing on his head if he had to. You know, and as he says, all I need is 15 minutes and I feel like a new man. The Outdoor Option is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Stay connected with the Outdoor Option team. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.
We'd love to hear from you and see your pictures. This segment of the Outdoor Option is brought to you by Orca Coolers. Oh, it's the Elk Lodge is fantastic. It's, uh, the guys are all pleasant. Food's really good. Slept like a log last night. Can't beat that. A lot of fish, a lot of walleye, a lot of big pike. They're just here. They're really, they're really, really something to see. And they seem to run bigger than most places I've fished. These pike, uh, you can't tell how big your pike's gonna be out here. It just, it's just great. Smell that pine. Yeah, that's a, that's a certain good. smell that you get in the North Country. That just does not exist any place else. Elk Island Lodge is the perfect place to escape from reality. All you have to worry about is fishing and relaxing, and it's definitely a great place to make memories that'll last a lifetime. When you get to sit down on a deck and see the sunset and kind of just sit there and reflect, you know, and Danny and I did that a lot where we got to sit there together and just talk about all the events that happened for the day and then Sometimes it leads to other conversations about real life experiences and things that happen back home. And it's just a place to really unwind and relax and, and get back in touch with nature. It seems like all my dad has talked about for years is getting me into a monster pike, or the pike of a lifetime that he likes to call it. And ever since I hooked into this pike, I now know what he's talking about. I was really proud of Danny for being able to hook that fish and get that fish in. You know, it buried itself down in the weeds and he had to work extra hard. Well, I just don't think Danny realized until the fish was actually in the net just how big it actually was. And, you know, that was a moment because that was the biggest pike he'd ever caught. And uh, that's what it was all about. That's what we're talking about, baby, on God's Lake. Oh, There my. you go. 
<laughs> there you go. Oh my, let's get this up here. Yes, sir. 41. There you go. You know, I hooked this guy. We weren't so sure because we knew we got into the weeds. We had a bunch of weeds wrapped around my leader. So I wasn't 100% sure if the heavy weight was off fish, but boy, it sure was. I mean, you can see the, the grass up on my line as I pulled him in, but this is a 41 inch hog. And uh, Byron says he thinks it's 25 pounds plus. So way to go, dude. Look at that. Look at that. that. Is big northern pike on God's Lake. Wow. Wow. Let's get some pictures of this wow. guy. Yeah. These <laughs> are pictures. I think it was pretty awesome that Danny had the chance to bring in a fish that size. The Outdoor Option is brought to you by these fine sponsors. This segment of the Outdoor Option is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras, the official trail camera of the Outdoor Option. Hey, we're headed over to the God's River for some big brook trout, hopefully, huh? Yep, got a quick little float plane ride over and hit the river in no time. Another option that Elk Island Lodge offers is fly-in float plane trips to the God's River, where they have world-class brook trout fishing. So we took a nice cozy float plane trip up there. We got the whole crew crammed into the float plane, and man, it was well worth it. In this particular case, you know, the weather had been, you know, a little bit rough the days before, so we were limited in the amount of time. And, and I wanted my, my brother and my nephew to experience it. So we cut the time down. We really only had about an hour and 45 minutes of fishing time back there. We got everything unloaded, got into our boat, and took off up the river. And the camera crew was back behind us, taking on what seemed to be the Bering Sea. By the time they got caught up to us, we were already catching trout. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest brook trout I've ever caught in my life. Not very many people have an opportunity to catch a brook trout like that, and it was on my bucket list, and I wanted it to be on Danny's as well. I think Danny really realized what he was getting into in this particular trip back in there because these were brook trout that were monster brook trout. prettiest brook trout I think that you could ever see. Um, it's almost like people, you know, hand, an artist hand painted the colors under these brook trout. It was just tremendous. Just very, very close and dear to my heart and very exciting. Fighting big brook trout like this on an ultralight rod in a river is just unbelievable. The fight is something I'll never forget that doesn't compare to anything else out on the lake.
Man, we have had such a great time up here at Elk Island Lodge on the beautiful God's Lake and God's River, and uh, this just capped off a great trip. Yeah, it is. When we talk about making memories that last a lifetime, I can guarantee you this is a memory that will last a lifetime. Oh, for sure. Not many people get a chance to do this, and I'm really glad you were here with me, buddy. Yeah, thanks share for bringing me. me up here, and you know, a great big shout out to Greg Dick and Elk Island Lodge and all the staff, our great guide here, Byron. Man, what a great couple of days we've had, and uh, cap it off with our fifth brook trout. That's big brook better. trout, big yeah. brook trout. Not just a brook trout, but big brook trout. Let's, Let's get him back in the water so we can uh, head on down the river. Our float plane's gonna be here in a few minutes, and, <laughs> and we'll catch you next time right here on the Outdoor Option. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Hey, that's a good ending. What is it? Great. That's <laughs> that actually awesome. an awesome ending. This week we're heading way up northeast to the island of Newfoundland to get after some big moose. We're gonna have moose burger. It's the only moose my dad will get this whole trip. Oh. You're bigger than yours. Oh, Are you ready to go? We have arrived at moose camp. I think we saw another bull over here. Really exciting. Down. Underground. 